Not sure how often that's supposed to happen, especially in Legacy. Yeah. But, yeah it's definitely a thing that happens. So, game number three will be underway. Again, the winner here, as, Mon as Lynch does suspend Ancestral Visions, is going to play against Shadeen. Shadeen is, I think she's away. She's waiting patiently. I think she's away. I think she just got some, some Shake Shack. Running so good. So good. Yeah, waiting on the finals and eating Shake Shack, you know, that's not a bad place to be. There are worse things in life than that. I can promise you that. Ancestral Visions taking down here for Lynch. So that's down to three, and I imagine he will draw a card here in just a moment. So there is a Misty, and just pass the turn back over to Mondello. Mondello with nothing happening the first couple turns of the game. No him, no thoughts, he's no nothing. Though he did just pick up thoughts, he's this turn. See if yeah. he wants to fire that off. I mean, he did get misdirected last game. Might be a little bit of fear there. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've seen each other's deck list. Jake knows that it's a one of. It's not likely to be there. Yeah. But yeah, there there is certainly that fear, right? Let's see what Land Mandela wants to start. He's going to get the trap. Down a 19 via the Verdant. Maybe it's time for a little shardless action. Oh, lily pad. That's a way to take over a game. Yeah. He also has a Jace, too, so he's got like a Planeswalker's draw. Yeah, that that's pretty good against Lynch's deck. I mean, both these decks are kind of like dirty mid-range decks, whereas Lynch owns the late game for the most part. Yeah. And so if you're Mondello, you kind of want to get off to the... A, a faster start than this, but when you do have a draw that includes Liliana into Jace the Mind Sculptor, like, that is also a fine place to be. Yeah. Those are difficult to remove. Yeah, it's actually tough for Lynch's deck to beat those cards. Yeah. He's really good at containing creatures and winning the creature wars. You know, we saw last game with Humility, GTA, and Batter Skull, Thopter Founder, stuff like that. He can make a ton of tokens, um, but he's actually pretty soft against Planeswalkers. I'm not going to find cards like Council's Judgment running around or anything like that. Yep. Mandela picked up a copy of Brainstorm. Now here comes a copy of Thoughtseize. And that's going to resolve. So there you can see a Misdirection, a Sword of the Meek, a Humility, and a couple of lands, Misty Rainforest, and an Academy Ruins. Yeah, so again, not the fastest start from Lynch, but generally it's okay in this matchup. You know, he had an Ancestral, which is pretty important for fighting the card advantage war. And it's a, a pretty good card against the discard out of Mondello's deck. And he had a misdirection, but, you know, granted no blue card. But a few turns went by, could have drawn in that blue card, maybe could have misdirected him to Turok. You know, he, his, his hand has plenty of game. Feels... Mm, if I'm shake, I kind of want to snipe that humility. Yeah. It was like such a pain in the last game. Yeah, I mean, the sword is something that you're probably going to want to deal with eventually, but right now, not a big issue. Misdirection, no blue card, still two lands away from hard casting it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, misdirection is like kind of an annoyance. It looks like he's going to take that, so he doesn't have to worry about it later. And he did discard a Glagari Charm already. So now here's a brainstorm. So he's going to draw three cards. Visions among them. He's going to put a couple back. See, he's got the abrupt decay in his hand. Generally, pretty useful in this matchup, just not against Paul's very slow draw. Yeah, against this particular draw, it's not great. There's a Verdant Catacombs. 
hasn't played line yet this turn. See if he wants to sacrifice this just yet. He doesn't, so he's going to take this up. So Swamp is ready to go. Lynch is going to figure out what he wants to discard. And Sword of the Meek is a pretty decent option, but he's going to go with Misty Rainforest. Now there's a Death Rite Shaman. And so Mondello, this game is going, I think, a little bit more how he wants it to. Again, he, does, he has to be a little scared of, like, you know, Vision's taking down and Lynch refilling his hand. Yeah. And not being able to really do a lot about that. But if, if it gets to the point where that happens and you have a Planeswalker or two in play, you know, your situation's still not that bad. Yep, now he's going to sacrifice both of these, and it looks like Paul drew a copy of Jesus the Mind Sculptor for the turn. Okay. So a Trop and a Tundra. Maybe not. He wants to make sure he gets the right lands. Yeah. Don't want to make that boo-boo. No, yeah. Especially with the humility in his hand that mm -hmm. he almost certainly wants to play this game. Yeah. You definitely yeah. want to get the second white source so you're not forced into trying to find that in a later turn. Let's see what four mana spell it's going to be. Yep. He puts a lot of value in, on humility. Oh, it's, it's very powerful. Yeah. You saw it doing its thing in the last game. Yeah. And Jake, when he discarded with Liliana the first time, he discarded, uh, he discarded excuse me, Golgari Charm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he had the opportunity to take that with Thoughtseize. He elected to take Misdirection instead. You're going to wonder if that's a mistake that's going to come back to bite him. Yeah, i got to imagine that he's just on the Planeswalker plan at this point, right? Like, you... You see his sideboard. He has two Golgari Charms for things that remove enchantments, but also Liliana is capable of removing enchantments as well. Yep. There's Jace. And I think this is the best way to go about like, actually winning this matchup. He's going to Fate Seal. That's a forest. That's going to stay on top. Now Liliana is going to take up to six, so threatening the ultimate there for next turn. That's right, Shaman's going to come in from one. Now, Lynch, of course, is going to be able to draw some cards here with Visions, refuel the grip a little bit. We know he's got a Jace in his hand, but you know, if Mondello takes the strategy of, okay, I will sidestep this, like, creature battle that you're having, yeah. and I will let Liliana and Jace take over, I don't know if there's a lot that Lynch can do about that. Yeah, keep your humility. Planeswalkers don't care. Yeah, Again, yeah if, that, if that's the plan, there's a Thopter Foundry. I see a Stone Force Mystic over there. And Sword's in the bin already, so. Just need another artifact to sacrifice to get mm -hmm. the party started. And we know that Lynch has got a decent amount of those. So Mandela's gonna draw. Don't know if this is the exact time to cash in with the Liliana. There's a him. So Lynch is going to be left with one of those cards. So that one's going to stay. These are going to go. Stoneforge and uh, the Jace. Oof. Lily's going to tick up. Get the last card. Yep. And I think it's a Thopter Foundry. Yep. There's an attack for one. But he doesn't win that war. Now the question is, you know, does Lynch want to actually sacrifice a Thopter Foundry now? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tempting to remove the death right, mm -hmm. but... It is just a 1-1 one, one with no abilities. Yep. Uh, but if he sacrifices the Thopter Foundry, he can get back Sword of the Meek onto the 1-1. One, one. But then next turn, he can't Academy Ruins, play Thopter Foundry, and start making tokens in the same turn. The top card's going to go to the bottom. So I, I think maybe at this point he might just be... Uh, okay. And so that's going to come in. Thopter is going to get attached to that. 
I mean, that's going to try to contain these planeswalkers yep. now. Yeah, I thought he might want to Academy Ruins another artifact and then start making more artifacts, but I guess you don't really have time to do that. With Liliana prepared to go ultimate next turn, it might be best to just make the token this turn, uh, knock one of the Planeswalkers down a little bit of loyalty, and then try and reassemble that combo at a later point. I think Lynch right now is deciding if he wants to activate Academy Ruins on his upkeep. Looks like the answer is yes. I think his thought process there is likely. There's nothing better that I can draw than a Thopter Foundry. Right. So just spend all my mana, put that into play. Liliana goes down to five. And now Jace can potentially unsummon the Thopter. Liliana can tick up to six and then again threaten the ultimate on the next turn. Yep. So here's a brainstorm. See a Visions, a Wasteland. Wasteland's actually pretty important for getting Thopter Foundry out of play. Or excuse me, for getting Academy Runes out of play to yeah. stop the recursion of Thopter Foundry. There's Charlotte's Agent. That's Visions. That's three cards. Again, he's already used Jace this turn. Mm-hmm. Could just tick down Liliana to get the token off the battlefield. I don't know how much that matters, though. That's another Charless Agent. All right. Let's see what this one finds. Decay is real good. Yeah. He's going to tick up. And then we might see the exact same pulp turn from Paul here. Yeah, put it on top plate again. Yeah, attack Liliana. If that's the case, I feel like you're probably better off just taking down Liliana to get the creature off the board. Yeah. On that previous turn. Though, to be fair, like, you have a Charlotte's agent that can block. Right? So oh, can, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you, by all means, chump block. Yeah. You're, you're perfectly fine with that. And then you got, you might actually have like some serious interest in ultimating ultimating Liliana now. Yeah, and it's like you you don't get rid of everything that Paul has, right? But you get rid of some of the stuff that matters. You still have two planeswalkers. Or Stoneforge Mystic. Nothing to search up. Just pass the turn back. Can't search anything up because humility. Yeah, it doesn't have ability. Yep. Because of humility. So a bit of a nombo. So, Academy Ruins will be targeted on Eastland. So, Dr. Foundry is going to go on top of the deck. Now, of course, Jace can't fate seal that to the bottom if necessary. Mm -hmm. And, yep, that happens right away. Now, of course, the big question is how will Liliana be used this turn? I guess, you know, my thought, you know, the thinking here is just like, are you supposed to, you're supposed to ultimate, if you do, how do you split? That's the thing I don't know. Yeah, well, he's going for it now. Yeah. And that's like the big question. It's like, if, if you're going to do this, and that's clearly what he's going to do, how do you chop this up? I mean, it could be something as simple as lands versus non-lands. Okay. You can throw the sword with the lance pile. That's a little bit risky. Yeah, I mean, I think Jace on nine, you're fine with him having two creatures and a humility. He's going to let all the... He's going to let that stuff go. And that actually works out great because now the creatures are actually big again. Yeah. So now he's able to attack for five. And his death right actually does something. Yep. And so now he can actually close the game out. I think, like, maybe the entire goal there is just, like, to get humility off the table. Yeah. But if Paul selects humility, if Paul selects humility and you know the lands, and humility and the creatures, it's like okay, well you just don't get to cast more spells. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you, 
like I said, you don't get to kill everything, right? But you get to kill enough that you are super far ahead. Yeah. So there is a death right activation to get rid of the visions. Two more is going to be dealt. I'm going to fire up the tar pit. Come across here for five. Wendell's going to play that. Take a look at this. Make sure that it's a brick. It is. Draw that card. It's a trop. And Lynch is going to turn over two lands and extend the hand. Jake Mondello in a marathon, marathon. affair. <laughs> yes. Putting it lightly. You see that? 104 minutes. They even took a short break yeah. to recompose themselves. He is finally onto the finals. And J. Dean, if you are awake, congratulations. You've wake done up, it. Wake up, J. Dean. Yeah, it's wake time up. to go play. You've got, you've got somebody to you know stifle a wasteland into the ground before you head back to Michigan or whatever.